Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in the, recently, one of my subscribers, Sunny Singh, has requested me to make a video uh, for custom activities using web APIs. So Sunny, this video is for your request. So what we are going to do, we are going to create a custom activity, which is going to use uh, API from this website, reqres.in. So this website is simply, I just uh, came across and it provides some sample test APIs, which we can use for our, uh, testing purpose. Okay, so without wasting time, I will move to the Microsoft Visual Studio, click on create a new project. Then from here, we need to select this class library and move to the next one. Now our project name would be um, UI path. API custom activity and I will just click on create. Okay, now as we have learned in the previous videos, we need to add two uh, specific references for this to work with UI path. One is a uh, system dot activities. That is this one, and then system dot component model dot composition. Okay, so I will just add these. Now let's invoke these as well using system dot activities and using system dot component model. Okay. Now, one more activity while we are working with the APIs, we need this system.net uh, library so that would be using system.net. All right. Now, let's uh, the usual task that we do. So we need to have an input argument and output argument for this activity. So, I will call this as uh, API call activity this would be the custom name and for it to work with ui path we will invoke the code activity and we will inherit the class code activity in this okay now let's create uh, the code for getting the required input argument so that is be our required argument then category would be input let's give it a description uh, so for that, uh, here for this one, I'm going to use this single user API. So in which we just pass a certain digit number and will give you uh, some random data for uh, any user base. Okay. So our input would be um, user ID. I will just write uh, enter user ID. And now since it is a uh, in argument, so public in argument of type string let's call it user id right. and set okay now similarly we need to create an output argument which would be uh, creating uh, containing the output response api response so let's code it out would be a string variable to store the API response. All right, now let's just name it public out argument of type string. Let's call it API response and get set function. Now we need to create the override function which is uh, the exact the method which actually does the function so let's call it protected override void execute now instead of this throw we will implement a code so first of all i need to pass that user id so that would be uh, let's call it uh, 
user number equals to object string that would be user id dot get and text now i need to create a web request variable for the api so web request request object this is the variable name and i will just type web request dot create and in this we are going to pass out our url now this url is the api call that we are doing so let's initialize it as well string url equals to first will come let's copy this so this is the format of the api so this is our url and we call them and uh, now we are need what we need to do we need to add uh, this user number after it so i will just concatenate it right over here user number so now let's say the user gives us the values one then it will come up over here as like this and see the if you see the data is changing this is for some george and now if we if the user gives us a value as five then some uh, other name charles would come okay so this is the string url that we pass to this request object this is the part where it is uh, calling to that http request now let's create our response object so, so before that uh, that's called request object dot method we need to uh, mention it like the, what is the type of method that we are calling then http web response it would be the response object which will contain the response from that api so response object would be equals to http web response now let's retrieve the response from that request object get response that is done now we just need to uh, fetch the like this response object would contain the response from that api that we need to read so i will just create a string result equals to then and then using string string equals to response object dot get response string this is going to provide me with the required content here it will come as stream reader okay for to work with stream we need another library that is using system dot io io stands for input output so let's call it sr equals to new string reader and in bracket we pass stream now let's save the result in result equals to start or read to end and close the screen that's it now finally to provide send back the response back to ui path what we need to do is just result dot set and text comma result Okay, there is an incorrect uh, over here. Instead of result, it would be API response. Okay, that's it. We are done with the code. Now let's build it. Click on build solution. And while it is building, I will open my NubKG package of Explorer. Okay. Nugget package of Explorer is open. So let's copy this DLL path, 
by now i guess everyone who is watching this playlist must be well aware of the facts uh, the process that we are going to follow i am going to create a lab folder over here then add an existing file paste the path open then let's give us a name it is get random user let's give it a name and finally save us so for my work i will save it in the components folder that is done we are ready with the custom activity now let's test it out if it's working properly or not i will just open any test process with me and let's go to manage packages download components so this download component it might it may come it may not come in your manage packages if it is not visible there please add the source path of this um, probably in the first video you would be able to find the process code so this is the get random user details the package that we have just created let's just click on install and save it now our name space was ui path api custom activity so that should be the same thing coming up over here hey guys uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do like share and subscribe it so over here in the activities projects you can see over here ui path api custom activity is visible same as the namespace of our uh, code and this is a class name api call activity so let's just invoke it now it is asking for a user id so let's give it to and some api response so i am just going to create a variable now let's use a message box so it has see it has worked it is providing me some random details for and using the api similarly if i would just call uh, instead of two if i may pass another number like four earlier it was coming as something zenith weaver now it should come something different yes as you can see now it's some a volt so that's all guys hope you like the video do like share and subscribe to uh, my channel please and if you have get any doubts or any video you want to be made for any particular topic do reach out to me on linkedin or in the youtube comment section thank you guys thank you for watching this video